so we start talking about our first extension or fix to the page rank. And this is called topic specific page rank. Sometimes it is also known as personalized page rank. So here is basic, basically the idea. Let's think of uh, our initial goal. Our initial goal was to identify important pages um, on the web graph. Now, of course, we not, don't necessarily want to find pages that are generic in popularity or that have generically high page rank score, but we would want to say what are the web pages that are popular within a given topic or within a given uh, domain. So in order to identify this, our goal is the following, right? What we would like to do is we would like to evaluate web pages, not just according to their overall popularity, but also how closely they are um, to a particular topic or particular set of topic web pages. For example, how, what is their importance in terms of, of the sports topic or, or what is their importance in terms of the history topic, right? And what is, why, why is this interesting is because if we think of the web search, the way, the way PageRank was initially uh, thought of was that uh, somebody will come ask a web search query, we will go identify all the, all the web pages that are relevant towards that uh, web search query, and then now we need to decide how to rank or how to present all these web pages to the user. We, we would basically take pages, simply sort them by their PageRank score, and show the pages that have the highest PageRank score uh, first to the user. Now, of course, if you would have the personalized uh, page rank or topic specific page rank way of measuring the importance of a page, we could say we could basically show to the user a given, a given ranking depending on what, what the user wants. And in particular, there, there can be many queries that are ambiguous. For example, a que query Trojan could have very different uh, relevant pages depending on what is, what is the topic you are interested in. In a sense that uh, Trojan can mean, Trojans could mean a, sp uh, a sports team, it can mean uh, something different if you are interested in history, or if you can mean something very different if you are interested in internet security. So the idea would be that we could want to compute different uh, importance scores of different web pages based on their um, relation to a given topic. So the question is, how do we achieve this? And the way we will achieve this is actually to do a small but very clever trick to the page rank formulation. So let's think of what we have so far. So far, right, we talked about basically that the random walker with a very small probability can teleport from one page to any other page um, in, the, in the web. And we made this assumption that this teleportation um, of where the random walker will land, they land uniformly at random at any other web page. So what we can do now is change this random, random teleportation part a bit, right? So in the original page rank formulation, we said that the random walker can land at any page with equal probability. What we do in the personalized page rank um, uh, uh, world is we say we will, the random walker can teleport only to a topic specific set of relevant pages, right? So whenever a random walker decides to jump, they don't jump to any page on the web, but it on they only jump to a small subset of pages. And this subset of pages is called the teleport set. So the idea here is in some sense that we are biasing the random walk. Right, so the idea is that when the walker teleports, she, they can only teleport into a small set of pages, we call it S as the teleport set, right? And in our case, we can think that set S contains only pages that are relevant to a given topic. So what this will allow us to do is basically to measure the relevance of, uh, of all the other web pages um, on the web with regard to this given set S, okay? So in some sense, for every set S or for every topic uh, S, for every teleport set, we will now be able to compute a different page rank vector R that is specific to that teleport set. Um, so the way we do this is actually everything is still the same as, as we do. All we need to do is we need to change the formulation a bit, right? So um, everything still works. The only thing we do is now we change the definition of our matrix A to be, um, to be the following. If the entry, um, i is not in the, in the teleport set S, then basically nothing happens, everything is, everything is okay, right? But if our entry i is in the teleport set, now, the, now we add the teleport edges in a sense, right? So we have the beta times mij plus one minus beta, right? This is the random jump probability divided by uh, one, uh, S, right? So with probability one minus beta, we jump into one of the S pages. So to the probability of jumping to one of them is one over the size of the teleport set, okay? 
and everything still works. A is still stochastic, power iteration still works, um, our page rank algorithm still works, everything is good, just our matrix A is now a bit different. Of course, here, for example, we are assuming that when a, ran um, a random walker jumps into teleport set, they jump uniformly at random into any of the pages in the teleport set. We could make things even more interesting and say that there is a probability distribution or every page has a different weight of the random walker landing at that given page. The idea here is basically that we have lots and lots of freedom in how do we set the teleport set S. For example, when teleport set S is just a single node, this is called a random walk with restarts. And I will talk about this a bit more later. But for now, all we need to, we need to under do for, to understand the personalized page rank or topic specific page rank is that we have this topic specific set of pages S, um, this topic specific pages, set of pages we somehow decide. We now compute the new version of matrix A where the random walks uh, can only jump or teleport to the entries of S. And basically the same machinery that we have developed, developed so far applies in the, in the case of topic specific page rank. Um, to give you an example how this works, here is a simple graph. And what we will do is um, here I'm showing you first the transition probabilities. And now let's suppose that our teleport set is a single node S and our beta is 0.8, okay? So now, given, given these values, um, I, I updated the transition probabilities, right? So uh, be because with probability 0.2, a random walker can jump out of every node, and then can, they can only jump back to the node 1, right? So with probability 0.2, the node will land, uh, we, the random walker will land at node um, 1, and uh, with the remaining probabilities, we see the transitions. Um, and now if we were, if we were and uh, run the power, power method and see where it converges to, um, here are the page rank scores of the, of the nodes in, under this case. What we see, for example, is that node 1 has the highest page rank score. Um, uh, node three, nodes 3 and 4 also have a very high uh, page rank score. Actually, what I, what I will also show you now is that in this particular case, um, what I'm varying here, for example, is I'm keeping the parameter beta the same, but I'm varying the teleport set S, right? When teleport set S is all the nodes in the graph, these are the traditional page rank scores. For example, you notice that as I'm, as I'm decreasing the size and, um, of the teleport set, and at the end, the teleport set only contains um, of node one, notice how the page rank score of node one starts to increase and the page rank scores of all other nodes tend to, uh, tend to decrease. Similarly, for example, if I keep the page, uh, the teleport set S constant, but I'm changing the random jump uh, probability or the teleportation probability, you see as the parameter beta gets smaller, the score of the first, the node one, the first node, the node where the random walker is jumping to um, also uh, starts, starts to increase because more and more often the random walker jumps to node one. So more and more often the random walker is at that given node. So now, one thing that I haven't told you yet is how do we find a topic specific um, vector S, right? How do we find a set of authoritative pages on a given topic? Actually, what we can do is we can go back to the initial efforts of how to organize the web graph. So for example, demos or open directory is, is a um, human curated set of web pages that are, that are categorized into a 16 uh, category uh, top level hierarchy. Right? So one idea is, for example, is that um, we go and use the web pages that are uh, classified into this hierarchy as the teleport set S for every given topic. So for example, the idea would be, would be now um, the following, that for every web page on the, on the web, we have a number of different page rank scores, one with respect uh, to, a given, to a given topic. So for every page, we would know what is its quality with respect to arts, what is its quality with respect to business, and so on. So now the question is, as I um, mentioned before, how do we, how do we use this um, in terms of web search, right? So one way how we could use personalized page rank for a web search would be the following. Basically a user types in a query and picks a particular um, topic from the menu, whether, whether they're interested in arts or whether they're interested in sports. And then um, what we can also do is uh, we can classify a query into a given topic and now um, based on this, we 
you can basically show pick a particular topic and a particular ranking with respect to, um, to a given topic. And this is how the whole methodology um, could be used in real world settings.